Hey there, collectives, and welcome back for another Sweet Timber general love reading and everything in between. This is a general, so it's not going to resonate for everybody. So only take the part that fits and disregard the rest. I am still offering my pre-fall special where you can get two questions answered via email for $10 or a 30-minute reading for $30 via the telephone. If you're interested, check out my description box below and uh, hit me up on my email. Also, check out the link for Out of Spirit. I sometimes I'd be forgetting because I have to go back and download it and I haven't figured out how to copy it to my computer so that I can just withdraw. Anyway, I'm going to leave that in the description box below too um, and use my 20% off discount code BROWNEYES20 and just see. Thank you to all of you guys who have purchased using my discount code. So yeah, this is what's going on here. Heartache and loss. Some of you guys may have just ended a heart uh, romantic relationship or you may feel like you've lost out on something. But it's like something had to happen in order for something to begin. So you're going from, some of you guys are going from a loss to a new beginning. It could have been representing a third party situation with the Three of Swords, but you have the Ace of Cups here. I don't feel like it's a missed opportunity. I just feel like sometimes you go through things in order for you to learn your lesson, in order for you to get to the best part. That's what I feel. I don't feel like there is a loss. I don't feel like it's over. You may be saying that you've experienced a loss, but it's not completely over because you have a new love interest here. You have something that's gonna wipe away your tears. So this is the season where people are walking away from stagnant, people are walking away from unfulfilled relationships, no more restless, sleepless nights. Who wants to deal with that, right? So let's see. For the collective. And you also have mental conflict. Somebody in their head about something. I feel like it's two of swords and they, they go to eight of wands. So you may have blocked communication or maybe someone blocked communication with you. But you got to, either they're coming back around, either they're coming back around or you got something new coming. So it's really not a loss. You may have lost that situation, but maybe it was, maybe it was time to let it go. So let's see for the collectives. It's alive outside, y'all. I'm gonna get out a couple of videos today because I'm gonna have to take care of some things. And see, there it is. See, you think you done lost it, but little do you know. See, see, and there go the mental conflict. <laughs> see, that all it, this is all the cards right here through your oracles. It just repeated it. See, mental conflict. See, look at that mental conflict. There it is. Heartache and loss. This is boredom. Feeling like you've missed out on something. And then you got that love begins. It's a cup. So it's here. Spirit has reminded you, or Spirit is reminding you that it is here. And over really ain't over. It's just opportunities to start something new or rebuild. All right? So what's today's message for the collective? Page of Pentacles, the star healing. Something you don't see where your emotions are coming. See, somebody's single. The spirits say this is the best time for you. You're single, you need to be working on your healing, and there go the Queen of Cups. Seven of Cups underneath the bottom. Ten of Pentacles underneath the bottom. It could be about a family situation here, too, with the Ten of Pentacles. I got to, I'm going to say I got a late start today because I had a lot of things to do, but I got a chance to go work out today. So let's see, let's do this. Five of Swords, the Star, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn with the Nine of Pentacles, 
Ace of Cups, the Moon, the Queen of Cups, the Four of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. So let's see. For the collective. I might have to turn around. So let's see. Why is the Four of Cups here for the collective? To clarify the Four of Cups. Get a little bit of sunshine in our life. Why is the Four of Cups here? Mm. The Empress. Now, it could be that, see, Ace of Swords, somebody may be coming to the realization that they miss you, honey. Or maybe you're coming to the realization that you need to walk away from something because you're too good for that. It could be somebody you have children with. It could be you finding self-love because you got love begins. Somebody may have gotten rejected because of a pregnancy. But here come an offer. You got the Page of Pentacles showing up twice. Why is the Five of Swords here? I feel like this is the time to be patient and to start loving yourself and working on yourself. Don't give away your energy. If it's not being reciprocated, see? Look at that. Seven of Swords. Seven of Blades. We're clearing to find a Five of Swords. If somebody was up to no good, but you don't have to worry about it. Spirit is saying that somebody's secrets is coming out. Or somebody's secrets came out. So someone's rejection may have been your protection, but you may not see it now, see? Because somebody was wicked. Codependent, toxic energy. It could represent this person gonna try to sneak back in your life, but they got the same energy attached to them. Could be a Capricorn. The person who broke your heart may be trying to come back. See, eight of wands. Oh, they're heading your way, but I feel like they, <laughs> I feel like you're not gonna have a good, a good new beginning with this one. I feel like it's gonna be with somebody else because this person ain't made no changes. The same energy it took you to walk away from them is the same energy they're trying to bring back in your life. Why is the moon here? And you look like you want love, balance. It could also represent this person is having a lot of dreams and it also could be, be telling you to be patient because there's something happening behind the scenes, see? That's gonna give you what you deserve and desire in a relationship, especially if you're showing up as the empress. But in order for that to happen for some of y'all, y'all gotta walk away at that four of cups. Some of y'all don't know that whoever you're walking away from, they can't do no better than you. You're the best they ever had. They, they're, they're the problem. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? Knight of Pentacles. So if someone was procrastinating and taking their time and BSing you, they finna come now, but look what energy they still in. They're gonna come offering you something, but it's gonna be small. And they still in their ego. And they're still not over you because they haven't did the work. They go death in the reverse, could be a Scorpio. It's almost like somebody's trying to sneak back in your life with the same ain't-ish energy, okay? They ain't offering much. Only thing they got is that toxic community one energy. It's somebody you've already walked away from. And in order for love to begin, you're going to have to release this because they're going to bring more heartache and pain and more heartache and loss in your life. It could be somebody here who always want money from you too. So why is the star here, Aquarius? Clarify the star. 
healing, hope, inspiration, wishes coming true. Purify the star. Mm, there you go, Queen of Cups, see? I feel like there's a lot of healing taking place from your sea because you walked away, see? Some of you guys need to walk away so that you can work solely, look out for you, pull your energy back. Don't let nobody drain you because I feel like you got an energy vampire, see? This person gonna have you in your head like they be in their head listening to evil doing. See? And it's alive out here. You walk away from this person, you can get your life together. The star, the queen of cups, see? Take of the moon. Dreams, illusions. I feel like you're walking away from what you thought you could have or what you thought this connection was. And I feel like you're gonna see things for what it really, really is. Because you got the moon card twice, but little do you know, something is happening behind the scenes. But you wasn't gonna see it why you was with this karmic, toxic energy because they were an energy vampire. Like somebody was gonna keep ha having you hanging on, keep on manipulating you, keeping on, uh, you know, dangling you, making you false promises, only coming in for what they want. Yeah, if you walk away from this, your life is gonna drastically change, but it's not gonna stop that person from trying to come back because they need to feed off of you because you're the empress and you got a lot of love, but it's not being reciprocated. So why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Spirit is reminding you, you are good on your own. You don't need their help. They're coming back to you. And the way they're trying to come back, they're going to come back with motives. Somebody wants you bound to them. See, Spirit say, if you don't walk away from it, let it go. Because the sun is shining on you. And all this person's gonna do is keep on doing what they did in the past. Spirit say it probably was hurtful because you got heartache and loss. But Spirit say now ain't the time to fall. You gotta stand up to this. Don't back down and don't renege, okay? Somebody already had a chance. They don't get another one. Because Spirit say once again, you avoiding a tower moment with this person because it could have been worse. Could be a Scorpio here. So yeah, for somebody, your rejection was your protection, honey. Because you're dealing with an energy vampire. What's up with this Queen of Cups? That's why you got love begins here, see? Completions. Ending out of the cycle, closing out a chapter in your life so that love can begin. And along with closing out that cycle, you're going to let go of that heartache and loss too. That go with that, that stay in the past with them. And it ain't because you ain't forgiven, see? I feel like as soon as you move on, that person gonna try to come back. This one you gotta look after because they're gonna be very, very aggressive. For some of y'all, this person could have been violent towards you, see? Spirit say, keep on moving, don't stop. But they're coming back. And they're still not gonna offer you the commitment and the relationship and the harmonious energy that you deserve. They need, they need your energy. Spirit say, hold back. If they need money, don't. Somebody may have an addiction. And you was there supporting, but they were draining you dry. Probably was draining your bank account. Everything is almost like you couldn't trust. See, Spirit says this is destiny. Your destiny. You've served your purpose for that cycle. Now close it out. See, now that you can receive your rewards and your victory now. Because you somebody's learned a lesson here, see? And then you can have a healthy relationship, but it's not going to be with that person because they're not doing the work, see? And they're going to be upset with you, five of swords, because you're going to be the one that got away. Ace of cups. That's their problem, ain't it? Can't get mad at nobody because they don't want to be your fool. Folks hurting you now. <laughs> See, Ace of Cups, somebody's going to be upset with you because you don't want them. You're moving on. See, look at it. Five of Swords, Six of Cups in reverse. They still going to try you. See, but this is not for them. They've already had their chance. They don't get another chance. See, and the reason is, is because they can't move on because they land up in the middle of the night listening to their ego. And that's the reason why they are alone now. Somebody needs to feel like they can run you. Somebody wants you to be in, someone wants to have you hooked on them because their ego needs it. Little do you know you was this person's supplier. 
You as this person whole supplier, they were draining you dry. But spirits said, and they were manipulating you, but it was one-sided. See, but the same person is stalking you now. For somebody, you may need to get a restraining order on somebody, because I feel like somebody can't handle defeat because it's over. All right, collective, that's your reading. Please like, share, and subscribe.